I am just headed back home from doing my first fly across the ship channel to videotape the USS Texas in dry dock. Today is a holiday. Uh, I was hoping to see some cutting and welding going on, but uh, realized it was a holiday, so I didn't really think I'd see any of that. But I gave it a shot. Someday we'll be down here on a day when they are doing some cutting, welding, uh, chopping, slicing, dicing, and adding to. We'll see all that. The process is just going to take a while. Uh, today, she was just sitting there. Still got some good shots of her. But I wanted to share one of the videos I got with you on the move day. Now, this video I believe is unique. I don't believe any other drone pilots got this shot, or at least if they did, I have not seen it. I've watched a lot of uh, footage online, just like most of you have, probably all of you have, and I have not seen this particular drone shot. So if it's out there, eh, it's out there twice now, but if it's not out there, enjoy your first look at it.
flying across there was quite a hair-raising experience and uh, I'll tell you why. There are a number of things that a drone pilot needs to watch out for all the time. And one of those things is uh, objects that are higher in the sky than you are. A drone can legally fly at 400 feet above the ground unless you're over a building. Uh, if there's a 2,000 foot building then you can fly at 2,400 feet. You can fly at 400 feet over structures. Now there are some structures at Gulf Copper Shipyard, some towers. Not sure what they're used for, don't need to know what they're used for, but they're over 400 feet tall. I did not uh, extend my altitude range to fly up above them because it just didn't interest me. But taking a guess at what I saw, I'm going to say they're probably at 430, 450 feet. So they, uh, pre they present an obstacle, and there are multiple ones of those. I believe there were six of them. They present an obstacle that must be watched out for at all times. Uh, along with the cruise ships going up and down the channel, which there were none today. Uh, Low-flying aircraft, which are, there are a good number of those today. I assume that they are up there also taking photographs or video of the battleship. Or maybe they're always there, I'm not sure. But anyway, to any other drone pilots that want to come out here and fly the battleship Texas from the opposite side of the channel, be very cautious of those towers, cautious, cautious of the cruise ships cautious of everything like like I know you always are anyway if you fly from the same side as the shipyard which is doable I have located a, a number of areas there which uh, we could legally take off from I have not done so but in the future I will be doing so so fly cautiously in the area uh, your drone is not going to hurt anything in that area other than maybe a person if it falls on somebody but other than a person you're not going to hurt anything around there the only thing you're going to hurt is your drone if you hit something so fly very cautiously there may be some of us but there are not a lot of us that can afford that much money for a new drone because we were not cautious so drive, ca drive cautiously yeah drive cautiously too what the heck drive and fly cautiously. If you want to know more about the Battleship Texas, check these out right here. Winchester, take us out of here, buddy.